Cezar. It's going to be Okay, everybody out, come on, come on. So we're going to get started. In fact, you know, it's coming in today, so let's get our pads on straight away. Let's get your pads on if you've got them. If you don't have them, it's not a problem, of course. You're not really going to be hitting anybody or anything. But for some people, it definitely helps the mentality of doing community. Like Iron Man suit. Okay, so when you're ready, everyone just left head forward. Go up. We're going to start quite steady, quite easy, because it is quite warm today for a lot of you. So, yeah, when you've got your pants off, all you need to do is left head forward, guard up, and all we're going to do is kizamazuki, okay? So that's the front arm punching to the head. So what we're going to do, when I count, it's going to punch and return back to this position, ready? Itch. That's an easy, not even any legs yet, just arm, knee. Good, sun. Shi, that's it. Go. Look. Sitch. Nice and easy, nothing else going on. Hitch. Go. Jump. Okay, now let's make that movement bigger. So on the front leg movement, the Ash, and the hickey test. You're going to push and back in. Ready? Hitch. And back. Good. Just again, still here, nothing too crazy. Knee. Stretch and back. Sun. Chi. Go. So, could you try and not have a pause with the hand out straight? So, don't stop here at all. Instead, you're hitting and returning straight back. Ready? Itch. Knee. So, it doesn't stop. Sun. Chi. Go. Okay, change legs. We'll do the same, so just do 10 with not a lot going on, just the front arm. Ready? When you're doing this one as well, try and avoid the fact that perhaps there might be a recoil and start this way. Instead, let it just be a direct movement. Ready? Just the, the right arm. Itch. Knee. Want to put a bit of hip in it, no problem. Sun. Chi. Go. Now, of course, there's a bit of a delay from me saying it, me moving, and then seeing everyone move. But in my mind, everyone, all of you are at the same speed. So the first person to do the punch is obviously the quickest person. Ready? Look. Especially from the same house as your, you know, your family member. Sitch. Hutch, cool, jump. Okay, now let's get the movement going. So you're going to stretch a little more. So we're going to do it this way. I'm extending out and returning. Ready? Let's try that. Itch, good. Knee, sun, chi, go. But back to Kamai every time as well, rather than anything else. Just back to that Kamai. Look, sitch, hutch, cool, jump. Okay, change legs. So what I'd like to do now is movement in the legs, okay? So start moving around now. Just in the area. Now, you probably can't see the lines on the mats, but I'm only going to use a couple of mats, so a couple of metres maximum, okay? So we're moving. It's a little bit of like flexing between the knees and the ankles. And when I count, you've got to change legs. Simple as that, ready? Itch! Change to the other side. Good. Of course, your lead arms and front arms, and when you change, make sure that change, ready? Knee! Good, that's it. Good movement. Don't be afraid to move to the side. And change your legs a little bit, it's fine. Ready? So. Good. Chi. Go. Okay, so there's two ways to move when you change your legs. Obviously, up this way, or to try and use your legs to switch. Obviously, the second one is quicker, so preferable. Ready? Moving. Just try and keep low. Switch it. Good. Knee. So. Chi. Go. Okay, relax. Hello, boss. Hello, Lisa. We're going to do the lesson in kind of two halves today. So, the first half is going to be much more upper body, and then we'll stretch a bit more, and then we'll do the legs. Okay, left and right. Half wrong. Okay, up and down. Um, circle back, please. Go. And forward. Arms across. And then just twisting up the body. Okay, hips. Loose. 
and change. Great, right knee, circle. And move away. Okay, squat so down and back. Okay, ready? Itch. Knee. Sa. Chi. And go on and stretch up. Okay, fine. Tell you, knee, loosen off. Ready to go? Yep, yeah, fine. Okay, let's so just left leg forward. Joe, I'm saying left leg, I don't really mind if you have the other leg, it's not a problem. But what I want from here, which is we'll go to two counts now, I would like you moving again. First count is Kazama's a clean return, second count, so I'll go itch your knee. Obviously, knee will be the gaps of clean return, okay? But both times, watch my feet, my legs, when I'm moving, both times, this is your reaction. Front leg moving in for Kazama's feet, or front leg in for Yaks as well, okay? Ready? Let's see, on the bounce, it's off. So front arm first, ready? It's return as well. Good. And then it's reverse punch. Knee. Great. Let's switch legs. Let's see the other side. Just getting going a bit. Ready? It's knee. Ready, switch. Okay. You don't need me to show you now. I can just shout. Ready? On the bounce, on the bounce. Let's get moving. So same two counts. Itch is front arm, knee is reverse. Ready? It's it's Whichever one it's going to be, it's the same movement forward, isn't it? The same movement, whether it's going to be this hand or this hand, the same movement at the moment. Ready? Itch! Knee! Knee! Good, change legs. Other side now, ready? Knee! Knee! Itch! Itch! Knee! Knee! Okay, change legs. Let's change it now so that uh, count number three, so sun, is the leg change itself. Ready? So keep moving, moving now. Knee. Sun. Itch. Good. Nice and simple. Ready? Itch. Yeah, good. Itch. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Yeah, so left leg forward now. Itch. Exam. Knee. Knee. Knee! Speed that up. Knee! Drive it! Okay, yeah, so give me a second. Let's relax. So a few of you doing a really good job, really moving as well, that's important. What I don't really want today is this kind of really still position and then a punch. So allow yourself to move. Now, when I say move, I definitely don't mean get both feet off the ground a lot. Don't mean that. What I do mean is, you know, your knees and your ankles are constantly kind of working and your arms. I'm guilty of myself. A lot of time, you can say, my arms are really solidly still. Relax that a little bit. The more you relax it, the more difficult it is to tell when the punch is coming. You know, because it's already a moving part of your body, okay? So, everyone, get moving, get moving. And with the attacking we're doing now, it can't be that you attack and then have nothing else going on after. It's going to be a stretch up, double turn back to position. Ready? It's The back to that come on. It's important. Knee! Itch! Knee! That's it, then you can do these quick ones because you're ready. Knee! Sun! Switch. That's it, that's it. Knee! Back. Reverse, yeah. Knee! Itch! Knee! Sun! Itch! Knee! Good. Sun! Itch! Knee! Okay, I'm ready. Very good. Okay, just relax. You'll see why we didn't need much of a warm up today. Couldn't say it in itself, so it'll make you warm, isn't it? Okay. So, everyone just left their core command. So, we're going to work on the same idea of Kazamazuki, but I want you blocking something at the same time. So each one now is in their day I feel. Now of course, where you don't have a partner, most of you, no problem. You can work like I will, just independently. If you do have a partner, do you know, I'm, I'm actually gonna say don't use your partner. Don't use them at the moment, because it means one of you is gonna do a different thing. I know you just wanna hit your siblings, that's okay, you can do that after the video, but, um, you know, that's fine, you can do that 24 hours a day, can't you? But here, I want you all working facing the camera, which means I can see who's reacting best to it, okay? So, the first movement, if we're doing examples of feet, 
Let's make it a chew down block at the moment, okay? So you're going to block almost like you're going to have a reverse feeling. So this kind of feeling in, ready? Like covering, I don't mind if you go this way. It's probably not realistic to go that way and then turn your body though. So it's more likely that you're blocking out this way in, ready? Let's try that. It's a couple of times yourself, go. Let's do it a few times. So it's a front arm. So it hits from the front arm, and naturally the hips are opening this way. So it wouldn't make sense to block across. So it's going to be this opening feeling and covering out this way. Perhaps some wash here is coming. Cover down the hips. Okay, so you do a few of those, great. Make sure you're comfortable with it. Now the reverse one to one will be a lot more familiar because it'll be a push down with the front arm. And again, the hips turn this way. As you're doing that, you can drive in. Again, you like to get a right or press down, ready? Itch. Yeah, you've got that, of course, yeah, itch. Okay, so, come on, on the bounce. We've still got the three counts, haven't we? So count number one, we're exactly this way. Number two is gassing this way. Number three is to change fast, ready? On the bounce, let's see what we've got. Let's get moving. Itch. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm gonna stop everyone straight away there. So I looked at some people, believe it or not, and those people did this, because it didn't feel very good, they went, itch. Oh yeah, that. Didn't really, really get the feeling of it, okay? And the feeling of it is, hips. It's not a block. The block's not doing a great deal, of course. I'm moving forward, because that was I'm covering with this one. This is like a secondary thing. I'm going forward here, but instead of doing hips, I have to drop my arm down. That's what all the feelings are. You go in, it's covering. Ready? Let's try again. Come on. And pull faces. It's Good, but the hips have to turn. It looks really horrible when you do this. It really work. You've got to turn the body up, ready? Itch! Yeah, if that front hip doesn't drive in, you're not getting the feeling. Itch! Now let's change to the second one, reverse. Knee! Yeah, different one is in the right hand. Knee! That's it. Knee! Knee! Okay, switch legs down. Same two feelings, ready? So front down first. Itch! Oh. Cover low, hit high. Itch! Good. There's a lot of arms going on at the minute. A lot of arms out rather than body. Three. Itch! High grades, aren't we? Itch! Knee. Change the reverse now. So the hips are the other way. Knee. Limtastic. Knee. Knee. Some. Right, let's go quickly now. You've got the idea, ready? We're going to do it one minute, fast. Come on, let's go on the bounce, on the move. We're not going to start until I see everyone moving a little bit on their stance. Ready? Itch! Knee! Yeah, keep moving. So after your punch, you can't just go, yeah, I'm done now. Keep moving, keep moving. Knee! Sun! Change the legs. Knee! Pump. Itch! Pump. Knee! Knee! Sun! Itch! Itch! Keep doing it until body gets it. Itch! Knee! Sun! Itch! Itch! Knee! Okay, I'm going to go. Now, it felt like a minute. It felt... Relax, relax, relax. Breathe. Okay, it's probably a good time to stretch now, okay? So drop down to one leg. Chest forward, head down, go. Head down, head down. I'm really trying to get a good stretch on the hamstring when you do this. Okay, switch. Really push into it. You're definitely warm enough now to straight to the point where you can feel it. Hold it there. Go to the centre, it's half splits. It's carefully, of course. Good. As and when you feel you can, go a little bit lower. It's going to ease out. It's always quite dependent on the surface you're on as well, so be careful with that. Okay, great. Legs in. Actually, before we stand up, we're going to do a calf stretch. So hands forward, heels down, both at the same time, okay? So I'll show you this way here. So really try to push your heels to the ground. And then if you find that easy, then go a little bit further forward with the hands. Get an angle on the, the back of the legs. Yeah, really 
Keep push, both still, both down. Okay, squat. And just up and come. Yeah, let's tidy up. Great. Okay, good. Everybody, let's go forward, please come up. So, um, I want to work a bit on the front leg now, okay? Front leg kicking. So, there are lots of, you know, I'm, I say it myself a lot, there are lots of times when a front leg kick is a terrible idea, I'm going to say. There are loads of times when you shouldn't do it. There are, of course, times when it works, and it will work well. So, we're just going to start off with a bit of training, then we'll go into more detail of kind of what and when. So, I'll show you this way, just watch a moment. What I would like you to do is step up with the back leg, kick with the front leg, and return back to a similar position, okay? Now, I'm going to do an oral okay? So, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to step up more and scary return back. Now I don't mind if you don't. I don't mind if you change the round house kick. If it has to be a bit lower, no problem. It's all applied to what you're doing, okay? If you watch the feet again, the back leg stepping in, but it doesn't step in this way. I'm actually going to step it in and let it go wide. But then let it go out so I can get this angle on the kick and return back, okay? So it's this feeling of I'm stepping in to gather my body weight, but I want to also have my hips open. So my hips are already turning on the start of the kick. And then down again. So let's all try that, come on. So left leg forward for now, I'll work both sides. So left leg forward. So you're gonna step in with the right, kick with the left, and return back afterwards, back to the same place. Ready? Itch. Okay, good. Knee. Yeah, I don't mind Moshko or or Moshko, no problem. So whatever that was. Chi. Ready? Go. Okay, switch legs. The same idea. Now, if you're feeling comfortable, you've done this before, you're happy with it, make sure there's no time spent moving before you kick. Really, you want to try and get to the point where you're kicking, face away over. So, quick leg in and then kick. Really? Itch. Good. Knee. Okay. Some. Shi. Okay, so a couple of points to look at with these, especially with the reverse roundhouse kick, is the knee dropping. And what I mean by the knee dropping, obviously it's not really dropping, but what you're doing, some of you, is not getting this point where the hickey actually comes up. So if you get to here and you try and kick, inevitably, this leg will hold my weight, that's okay. I get this kind of swinging feeling, and it's not bad for photograph, but you can only swing your leg to a certain speed, you only get so good at that. What you can do as well, and you spend years all of your training, is this quick kick action feeling. Now I would like to place a bet that if somebody stood here with you guys, you can pick this up quicker than you can swing your leg up to a high. I think it's just a fact, you can do that. So let's work to our strengths. So from here, it's got to be this feeling. This feeling up. Then, it doesn't matter what the kick is after, because you, you've got to that point. If your knees up here, you decide it wants to be more scary, or not rush you've got no choice. So let's go again from here. Um, we'll do the same again in a moment, but remember, my view, if I see this, and the kick kind of goes here, but the knee's lower than the foot, it shows what you're having to picture knee up, okay? So get that feeling that you're really driving the knee up. Drive the knee up and then the kick. Ready? Itch. Okay, good. Knee. Some. Chi. Nice. Go. Okay, switch legs. Two, five, more. Ready? Itch. Good. Knee. Okay. So make sure that from the start of the movement, I'm working towards the kick. So I know that I'm going to do a reverse round on kick, but because I know that, when I'm stepping in here, my hips are starting to move the way I need them to. I'm starting the movement from the start. I'm not going to get to here and then go, oh yeah, I need to turn. It's not going to work. It needs to be here already. So at that point, then you can kick how you want to, really. Itch. Good. Knee. And as a personal point as well, when you get to the recovery, after you've done the kick here, your foot should be going down here, shouldn't it? Not this way down. It should be down and back, really. 
Sun. One more. Chi. Yeah, it's good for the knees, this one. Okay, yellow, relax. Relax. Good, so. <clears throat> Let's just talk about that as a technique. I don't think that doing that technique from that position, if you were starting a cubic and you were doing against somebody and you were here, and you do a quick step on the kick of the front leg, it's a very low chance that's going to be effective and score because you don't come much distance, do you? You know, if you think about where an opponent might be for me, and I'm here, and I do this position and I kick, I haven't really got that far ahead of where I was, so it's unlikely to be effective. And let's just park something else. So what I need you to do now is your own combinations. Don't mind what. Probably a nice safe option to start off with would be a Kazamzu Kamehameha Gangsuki. And at that point there, that's where you add onto the end, isn't it? So it's going to be something within a momentum movement, okay? So if you are going forward, give yourself space, of course. If you're going forward one, two, and then three, perhaps that might work, okay? Try a few times yourself. I'm going to let you do this on your own. About five times each day. Go for it. Let's see what you've got. Good, okay, yeah, a couple of times. And I don't mind you changing if you don't like the combo you're doing, change it to something else, not a problem. So always be conscious as well that you should be kicking with the front leg for the exercise we're doing at the moment. So I don't mind which leg that is until you switch legs in the combination. Still use that front leg, no problem. We'll use that front one. Okay. And then uh, change later if you haven't already, and just find the other side as well, please. Okay, when you're comfortable with what you're doing, you're happy with enough with what you're doing, always consider the time it takes from the beginning of your first movement to the hit of the third movement. So if you're travelling <clears throat> from here, even if you're doing it slowly, you're kind of going, one, two, and then there's a thing, and then there's a kick at the end, that's a long time for your opponent to React and read your three techniques, isn't it? You can get three techniques down to kind of a second. It's a bit more realistic, okay? Just a couple more. Well, just one or two more each leg. A bit faster if you've got it in you. Yeah? Now, some of you are a bit off the line as well. If you're punching here, you've got a kick here. Can't punch, punch, and kick over there. Doesn't work. Unless I'm running away. I like the fact that I'm seeing a few of you aren't on the screen, flying past the camera doing stuff, and then you're not on the screen again. I like it. Good. Yeah, that's you, Gemma. Good. Okay, great. Relax. So that's a good option in the right scenario. Okay, now let's work on the same idea of kicking with the front leg, roundhouse kick or reverse roundhouse kick, I don't mind, but in a more defensive, aggressive kind of way. So now instead of kicking here this way, instead of kind of stepping up and kicking, or bring your body in, I want to step back. Imagine you're against an opponent, you're doing some human say, and you notice that they're quite a good overpowering kind of attacker. That actually, they want to cover a lot of ground. They may be doing what you just did, two or three techniques every time, covering a couple of meters easily. Okay, so if you're there, stepping up and kicking is probably not a good idea. They're going to rush into me, it won't work. What I would perhaps want to do is a full step back. And when I do that full step back, maybe I can put the front leg up afterwards, okay? If it's something that's in your repertoire. So let's try that, all right? So a little bit of movement, we'll do it to my count. Each time I want to do a full step and then the front leg pops up. Just one little moment before you do it, please. Not this. Step, kick, and then fall backwards. It's got to be that you almost use the step as a bit of a break kick and then you're into the kick. So although I am stepping backwards, I'm doing it knowing I'm going to attack. I'm backwards and then you're going forward, so I'm adding to a stance. Try that, ready? Come on. I'll count. It's Back and forward, go. Yes, it's getting that feeling of actually pushing off the back leg. So the last step, I'm going forward in, ready? Knee. Now some of you use this a lot, or maybe you don't realise it. You do it anyway. You can charge your oh, God, let me that leg out. I think you could do it better. Ready? Sun. Good. You know, for realism, let's throw a block in there. So as you're moving backwards now, block back, block back as you do it, ready? Etch. Blocking, covering, and then kick. Okay, a couple more, ready? Uh, if you haven't done both legs, change them now, ready? Itch! Good. 
Speed up, ready? Knee! Stab kick! Okay, so we're using the front leg when we land back. So you've got to change legs up here. So if you've got your left leg forward, we go back and then kick with the right leg. Some. Back and then use it, yeah. Okay, good. Now, there are a variety of different flexibility levels and ages and experience levels in this class, which is good. Some of you have <laughs> taken that personally. I did mean you. Um, but from here, when you do that, when you do this kind of feeling, whichever level you're at, the momentum you get from here, if you time it right, the speed of the next kick coming up can be really, really deceptive. So if I'm moving backwards, but I'm moving backwards, stop, and then I pick my leg up the kick, that's when you can only rely on your flexibility, your strength, and whatever else. You use the momentum. You've all got to step back, so you need to use that. Use the fact that you're already pushing back. Pushing back on pushing forward as well. So it's that push one and almost onto the next kick, ready? So the timing needs to be not one, two, one and then. Okay, so continuous one, two, foot kick, ready? Try it. My itch, back kick. Yes, yeah, so it's part of the movement. It's a pre planned thing you're doing, ready? Knee. So cut back and kick. So, you know, use that, you know, you start to think a bit more, like key on a cutter, use the hips, wouldn't you? Try back and then, thank you about the second hand key on, try back and then, you don't do that for no reason, it's there, but you're going to back and afterwards, ready? Chi! Good, front leg kicking over, one more, go, so try back, kick the front leg. Okay, okay. Very good, that was. Okay, breathe. Everyone okay? Just put your hands up in the air to give me an indication of how warm you are. Hands down here means literally like you're just walking into the class. Hands up to the sky means you're really hot. Joanne, you're okay, you've got no balls. Okay. Very right handsome, cool. Yeah, fine, let's go. Good, we've still got some more to use there. That was my little gauge. How much fuel have you got left? Okay. For mine. The first count we heard earlier. I don't mind now if you have the Kazamazuki with the block or just as the Kazamazuki. The same thing actually, can we just reverse punch? Or it could be the cover in reverse, don't mind. But itch is this, knee is this, sign has changed. She, count number four, is front leg kicking, which will be the step and kick in the end turn. Or number five, go is a full step back and then front leg kick. Understand? Of course you don't. But let's try it, come on. Let's get moving, let's get moving. Ready? We'll do it slowly first, all the counts. Itch, because Reverse one's coming, ready? Knee. Change your legs, but don't do it high. Try and keep it low and change, ready? So, good. Now we're going to step up and use the front leg. She, get that knee high. And we turn back to straight to combine. And then number five is the full step back kick with the, what will then be the front leg. Go. Yeah, bit of a delay, but fine. Okay, combine. And as if by magic, we're back on our left leg. Let's go again, ready? Last one, step back. 
back in the middle of the key already. Go! Back kick! Okay, okay. Okay, bubbles. Hands off. Hands off, hands off, hands off. All one. Cool. Good times. Okay, everyone, need your finger stretch. Open up your chest now. Okay, feet apart. Drop one arm down and reach over to the side. Try to keep your body facing the front though. Body facing the front and just reach over. So your arms going over your ear. And then up. Same the other way. Reach over. Back up to the center. Push your arms, feet a touch wider. So fold from the waist, elbows to the ground. Go. Get your feet up wider if you need to. Good, bend your knees, back straight. Hands behind your lower back. Just push forward, kind of drop the shoulders back. Really stretch through. A bit more if you can. Okay, relax. Great, okay, stretch. Let's finish. Cesar. If you're breathing with your heart rate quite high, now it's time to relax. Box up. Slow down your breathing, control it. So you ready? Let's go, you ready? Pulse. Okay, everybody up, please. Feet together. Very close. 